Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today what I want to talk to you about is basically my first month in YouTube. Now basically, um, let's talk about one of the first parts is how hard it actually is. I didn't, I, I knew it was going to be hard going into it, but I didn't realise how hard because you constantly need to be thinking constantly need to be ready for your new idea for your, for a video. A lot of time and effort goes into that alone, just tr making sure you're uh, keeping yourself up on video ideas. Whenever something pops into your head, quickly get it written down. Uh, worst part for me is I keep misplacing uh, like my book that I keep all my ideas written down in. So yeah, that, <laughs> that becomes a problem. Another really hard part of it is actually doing the videos and that. For me, like, doing a 15 minute video can take up to like 7 or 8 hours because uh, your recording time and then all your editing time, getting a thumbnail ready, getting everything prepared for, for that video, it takes so long. Um, but it's worth it, don't get me wrong, it's 100% worth it. Like, I love doing it, but it does actually take a lot of effort and a lot of time. And the thing was, before going into this, I wanted to do daily videos, I wanted to upload literally every single day, but I was advised against it, and well I understand why now, so I said like, well I could upload three videos a week, see how I get on with that, and to be honest I was advised against that too, I was told like, you should do like one maybe two because you don't realise how hard it's actually going to be, but I was like, nah, I'll, I'll do three because I wanted to do a full week of uploading but let's try to keep it to three and yeah it's it's hard keeping up with it all making sure I've got a video ready for a Monday a video ready for a Wednesday and video ready for a Friday because um, I try to make sure when I'm recording I'm recording a lot at once so that I've always got that there uh, and I've got videos as backup and things like that it's hard but worth it I, I'm not going to give up on this. I don't think I'm ever going to give up on this. This is, it's, I love it too much. It's so enjoyable to do. I didn't really have a target set numbers for subscribers. But every time a new subscriber came, I, I got so hyped. Like it, It's mad to think like people are actually watching you and, th and people like watching what you're putting out there such an amazing feeling it's like an outer body experience you can't believe it's actually happening at the time i mean i know like compared to other youtubers i don't have many subscribers like i really don't have a lot but the amount that i do have that's a lot to me like, i was expecting maybe 10 subscribers something like that and it mostly just be people that i know but to see each new subscriber is like it, it's brilliant there's no there's no feeling like it uh each time a video gets more and more views it's massively massively brilliant to feel that inside you one big thing that i've noticed from this month is trying to weed out what people like to watch and what people don't like to watch uh, i'm still trying to get there with that um because like there's certain videos that people I've noticed people like click off of sooner rather than later, which um, I, I take no offense to. If you don't like the video, that's that's fine. Like I want to know this sort of stuff so I know what not to put out and what to put out in the future. Um, so yeah, throughout this fir first month, I've been trying to learn that, um, and I think I'm getting more of a grasp of it. Like it's it's going to be a long learning process there's going to be times when i put out stuff that people don't like i mean i'm guessing big youtubers do it as well like it's one of those things you've just got to keep an eye on how different videos are doing another one is my actual editing um at first my editing skills were like really bottom of the barrel sort of thing like i didn't really know what I'm doing like now I'm still learning but I feel like I've got a bit more into it so I know like I can cut certain other bits like certain bits of dead air and things like that 
So I'm able, to, I've, I've got a bit more ahead with my editing skills and things like that. Um, also, overlaying like was a big problem for me at the start. Like I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing. You know, like when you put the video of yourself up in the corner of a video of what you've been playing on screen or whatever. And I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing with that. But again, I've got more into grips with that. So... Um, it, it's one of those, it's only been my first month, so I'm still learning, still going forward with it. I, I'm one of these people, I like to learn by doing. So, like, say I put out a video that's not that popular, uh, I can look through it, even if, uh, even if people, like, say, yeah, it's rubbish or whatever, I can look through it and I can see, like, oh, yeah, this, this bit's bad, that bit's bad, what I need to do is try not to do that again, try to improve on my talking, try to improve on ev everything basically. Like, there's there's always room for improvement no matter what you do. And YouTube is a great place to actually get that improvement from yourself. Um, one of the big things that I've had, uh, you'll notice if you've watched my first video uh, to watching this video now, I've learned different ways of recording and everything. Like, I started out recording with a camcorder uh, but the light, the way it was picking up the light and everything wasn't the best. So I decided to actually give it a go trying to record with my phone. I tested it out really quick. Um, my cousin suggested it. So I tested it out and it was a lot better. Like so much better. Uh, you can see me a lot clearer now. Uh, and when the light actually hits me. Um, and plus, I've noticed that my phone gives a lot more focus. Like, there was a lot of blur and things with my camera. Uh, it's it, it affected the video a lot. So, coming from doing it with my camera to actually just using my phone, I've, I'm starting to learn a bit more about what equipment's better for certain things. I know that I still need to buy... I still need to get some actual lighting... Um, you know, to make my videos a lot more clearer because you still kind of get that little... It's still a little dark. I could do a lot more to improve that. But, like I say, coming along with the equipment, I'm actually doing a lot better now. It's my first month, and in my own eyes, I feel like... I feel like I've done pretty well for my first month. Uh, some people may not agree, but I'm on about my own personal feeling of it. I actually feel like I'm starting to put out the vi sort of videos that I like and the sort of videos that maybe a few others like watching. Like when I do my Friday talks, I kind of, I want to do more personal stuff, like actually talking to you about stuff that affects me in my life and asking you how it affects, how different things affect you in your lives. Because uh, interaction is a big thing that I think most YouTubers want, they want that interaction, they want to be able to hear your voices. Even if it's from someone who's not, maybe not even subscribed, just hearing that back, so... It, it's just nice to hear from other people, if it, it, if you get that. I, like, I'm not sure if I'm explaining it properly. Sometimes that's my big problem, like, I'll say stuff, and the smartest person in the world could be stood in front of me and they won't understand what the hell I'm saying because I've said it in just the weirdest way or the most wrong way. <laughs> I guess that's just me. I'm just a bit weird and awkward. All of that's my my experience. I will grow, hopefully. Uh, uh, throughout this, I will keep learning. I'll keep developing uh, different skills. Um, I think thumbnails is one of my biggest ones that I need to learn. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I'll keep working on that and for me it's work by doing, uh, learn by doing. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you actually liked the video. Um, kind of a weird one, I know, but I, I thought it'd just be nice to get out what I felt for my first month doing this. <laughs> but yeah, if you did like the video, give it a like. Comment down below uh, what you actually thought of the video or... Give me a topic to talk about. Like, if you want to hear about him, a weird, awkward guy talk about random stuff, <laughs> let me know what you'd like me to talk about. 
Uh, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, thanks for listening. I'll catch you in the next one.